Have you lost your mission in the pursuit of your commission? Here's my question for you today. Hello, my name is Fernando, coming to you from Australia, Geelong, with 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips, and resources to help you win your game in your network marketing business. And today's question is an important one because as a network marketer, I'm fairly certain that at some point when you started your business, uh, you knew that you wanted to make an impact in someone else's life. You want to contribute to people. You want them to grow. You want them to create better uh, finances, time freedom for, uh, for them, which would in turn do the same for you. But for some reason, somewhere along the line, we sometimes forget that. We get lost. If you are trying to run funnels online to generate leads using attraction marketing, then sometimes I know from coaching people, the feedback I get is that my ads aren't working, I'm getting clicks, I'm not getting leads, I'm getting frustrated, I'm throwing money at Facebook, what's going on? And what I would say to you is that it may just be that somewhere along the line, you lost sight of your mission, that is the reason why you started to do this, and you've now started to focus on your commission, which is what you're going to get out of it. And there's a danger when we go online that we tend to forget that we are that we are trying to reach real people, human beings like you and I, and we start focusing on leads and prospects and even using these terms in personalized who we're trying to help. So I want you just to come back to basics and think about why is it that you do what you do? Is it, is it that you still want to make that difference in someone's life? And if you are, then I'm going to invite you to understand who it is that you're trying to impact. Who is the person you want to make a difference for and speak to that person? Like right now, I'm speaking to you. And I can see there's a number of you here online. So we've got Mike and Julie and Gina and Magdalena and Harold. There's quite a few people here, but there's only one of you listen to, listening to me at a time. So I want to speak to you, hoping that this message may make a difference to you. And that's what you want to remember when you're speaking to the person that you want to impact. Don't try and become a marketer, right? So be you and write to that person as the person that you want to help. Allow them to see an opportunity for themselves in your sharing. It might be an experience that you've gone through. It may be something that you've learned. But if you come back to basics and you, and you speak or you write an ad or a message from the heart in genuinely trying to make an impact, there will be a vibration in that message that they're going to be able to get and resonate with. And it's in that vibration that they're going to be able to respond and be connected with you. So I don't want to make this a long message. Like I want to keep the messages short, but just come back to basics. If you've lost your mission in the pursuit of your commission, which is a rank, a status, an income level, then just know that those are outcomes that come as a result of you serving the person that you want to make a difference, focusing one person at a time. Come back to basics, please. Know who you are, know who you want to serve, know why you started to do this business, and I promise you that things can turn around. And as you start to create engagement, as people start to respond to your messages, as you create opportunities for connection, to then share what it is that you want to share to make a difference in their life. So I just want to acknowledge uh, Mike and Julie. Hey, Julie from New Zealand. Hello. Um, Gina, Magdalena, Harold, thank you for being here. Uh, Jelova, Dan, I'm not sure. We've got Dan and Jovelin. Thank you for joining. If this message makes a difference for you, uh, I want you to go ahead and share it with someone that you think may need to hear it. You might have people in your team who have lost their way a little bit, who might be struggling, who may be frustrated with the results that they're getting right now. This could be the message that makes a difference. Go ahead and share it. Let's make a difference together. Remember, there are millions, not tens of thousands, not hundreds of thousands. There are millions of people that are waiting for you. They are waiting for your message. They're waiting for your story to help them get unstuck, to help them get results in their life, in their business, and in the, in the people's lives who they're going to touch as well. So don't hold back. Come back to basics. Go and make a difference. All right? And I hope that does make a difference for you. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Uh, if you want more information, I've recently just posted a case study on my Facebook page at Fernando Loaisa Live. 
Uh, go and get a copy of that to learn how to syndicate content. Again, this is about serving you and making a difference. So any questions, let me know. Head over to my blog, fernandaloaza.com. I have tons of other resources there for you. There is a free two-hour training that you can take part of that's going to continue to help you become better at what you do so that together we can serve more people. Be blessed, and I'll speak with you real soon. Bye for now.